or sit on the stairs. They think they're just hanging. Please. Yes. No standing. <laughs> Rebellion is nigh. Okay. I'm covering the speaker. All right, we're going down to the loudness. I see we reminded someone of something. Not sure you can hear that screaming. There are a lot of bloggers here today. All right, sure, let's tuck over to our corner and throw, and throw a coat on. Can we go out that door? This way, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I think, that, I think that's the one. Let's go that way. Yeah. Should we throw on our coats and stuff and not be idiots? All right. Hello, uh, end of con. Woo, woo, woo. All right, we're still technically kind of in the convention, um, but we're here. We're gonna since we're probably not gonna meet up later. We're gonna go through our con hall. All so right. let's get started. Let's get started. All right, why don't you go yours first so you can show okay. off something you've got? So I told my friend that I would get her Valentine's Day gifts here. So I got her this little England sticker, and I know that she loves Jack Skellington, so I got this little ring. Mm-hmm. Nice. Very convenient, so then it's like, yeah. All right. Uh, I did not get too much at all. I ended up just getting a few stickers. Uh, we did find a, his, how, uh, how do we find, we see, no, okay. Well, I found one, at least one uh, vendor that sold Italian merch. She had a lot. I love it. And I would have spent a lot of money if I wasn't a broke. <laughs> Mood. Mood. Yes. Um, there was another person who had a a Italia item, but I don't. He didn't know what it was, so I don't count him as a Italia vendor. Um, but yes, uh, obviously that will be linked uh, in the description or wherever we can put a link to that vendor. And so here is what I got. I got a couple of stickers. I got a quiet little Russia. I got him his little scarf. He's so cute. Yes, and the um, sunflower. I also got originally the one I had wanted. Was it a man though? Me and Romano. Wow. Oh no! I dropped the mano. See, this is what. And I'm so Spain because I dropped my Romano. Oof. So that's why I want to get some. We go to Husbando. <laughs> yep. The little fly guy. Yep. So those are what I got. The same vendor. I'll link that again as soon as I can figure out the names. And then I got some stickers from that same vendor. So I've got Marco. Heck yeah. Yes. And Aizawa. Yes. Aizawa. He's so cute. Both of them are. Like our favorite cosplayers. Ta da. Yep. So she got our boys. Yeah. Right. Okay, and uh, this England that I had shown earlier. Oh yeah, same, same vendor. vendor. Same vendor. The ring is different, but the uh, England sticker is the same. They're all the, all the same, from the same vendor. But uh, yeah, and um, let's see, what was this one? Yes. So I didn't. The next things that I got, I didn't really like buy, but I did. As you probably saw from the footage and stuff, I was gifted two uh, two items or few two items a few items. Um, one of which was a British teapot from a um, Tumblr user who was actually dressed as uh, the United Kingdom as Britain or as England. Why do I keep calling him Britain? Uh, because like he, I guess is, that, he is called Britain also. That's well that's the English dub he's Britain I guess. Yeah. So yes. So England, English you uh, gave me a teapot with the Union Jack on it. I will link that username in the description if you want to give that person a follow. So right. please follow the Tumblr. Follow. Support our fellow Italians, guys. Keep them alive. We're all here together. Fandom will never die. Fandom will never die. You can't die. We're here. We're immortal. We're countries. Go ahead. So, what else did you buy? So I got a whole bunch of Dream Daddy merch. I got... A Merry Christensen button, a Joseph Christensen button, it's me. <laughs> she got a button of herself, how conceited. Oh, how could you say that? <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. And then I got a Robert Small button. Robert. Yep. See more of him later, you see what I mean, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and then Matt Sella. Ta-da. 
gonna eat my Swedish fish. I never passed these out. I gave these like to two people, <laughs> and I'm disappointed. I went out and I well, I didn't go out just for the Swedish fish, but I got these for you guys, and I gave them to no one. And now I eat them sadly and we were by also myself. We gonna give out pocky, but right, we forgot pocky. about the pocky too. We forgot the pocky. We yeah. just kind of munched on it during snack time. We kept us fed, yeah. at the very least. We were fed. So even though we couldn't share, at least we were fed. Yeah. It was a little crazy. That's probably why we don't have as much consistent footage. It was crazy and spontaneous, so yeah. I didn't really have time to be like, here's a fish. Yeah, um, we, we just kind of wing it. Wing it. Yeah. So, carry on so with got, the buttons. I, I, so, casually so I got it. Brian Harding. Mm -hmm. You got the whole thing. No wonder it took you. I know. I, I got like all oh of the dream daddies. Oh, you got Amanda. Oh my god. I know. So, here's Craig and Amanda. <laughs> And Amanda. Look at that Amanda Panda. I know, she's so cute. Mm-hmm. And that bird's a stepdaughter. That's all of them. <laughs> yep. So that's, um, that was her haul. I guess the last thing that I'll show off was the drawing that I got. Um, by the, I'm not sure if you could read, it was the I will draw you as, oh, you're, you're, you're all gonna hate me. I forgot who this is. I, I will draw, I will draw Goku for you. Goku. I kept thinking Baku though. I'm like, that is not. No. No. It's, it's Goku. Goku. So we draw. This is me as Goku. Mm -hmm. I know you saw that video. This is the, the result. L again. Again. Link in the description. Link in the description. You can follow those guys. I think it's a Vimo account. Oh, yeah. It wasn't Ooh. this little thingy. I had them right down. Their account. Right down their account. So please follow. Follow. Support. Support it. fellow cosplayers. Yep. They're funny dudes, so yeah, definitely. At least get to know them anyway. Try it. <laughs> Alright, um, anything, any other items that you got? Uh, that's, that's about it. That's about it. So that is our, quote, con <laughs> haul. Alright, uh... Oh, wait. Yes. Did I show Hugo Vega? I don't think you showed Hugo. There's Hugo. So, Hugo Vega, everyone. And all of his educational institutions. <laughs> <laughs> all his smartiness. Yep. So yeah, now, I now. believe that's it for the con haul. Yep, now that's Unless you've got any tricks hidden up your sleeves. Mm -hmm. No? No, no oh. tricks as of now. I okay. ain't seen all my tricks. Alright, bye bye. bye. <laughs> Hi guys, so we're leaving UchiCon right now. It's very dark. We are tired, but we are going to a Starbucks because we're both thirsty and hungry or, or McDonald's whatever one we come across yeah I think we put McDonald's into the GPS but if we catch a Starbucks first yeah. okay there okay the stupidest thing just happened so we were here eating our McDonald's and we found these guys over here and it looks like um who are they cosplaying Sally Fisher uh, and who? We, we think they're cosplaying Sal Fisher and Larry Johnson from the game Sally Face. Yes, and so I was going to take a video to show you guys, but I accidentally took a photo with a flash one off like an idiot. Um, yeah, so I can't, you can't see, but one of them has blue hair and it looks very, it, obviously that's not very natural. But and the yes. other one has brown hair. I can't tell if it's a natural or a wig, but I mean, they fit the Sally Face character's descriptions. Yeah. So, there's someone. Looks like somebody else from the con is over here, too. Uh, it doesn't seem like they've noticed us yet. I am pretending to uh, show a video right now. <laughs> and uh, earlier, when we were trying to do this recording, I was just, like, laughing and stuff, making it believable. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're great actors until these guys find the video, and they're like, the sons of trees cake took video of us. Yep. So, yeah. I'm gonna get my french fries. So yeah, we got we got guys over there. Yep. <laughs> Icon players were too scared to introduce yourselves to. <laughs> you probably mace us if we did. Probably. <laughs> I mean, it, it's the city. People yeah. are. I would mace them. Yeah. Somebody walked up to me and be like, you have purple hair! And I'm like, like, ah, get away from me! How is that a reason to accost a stranger? Exactly. Back off! But yeah. So uh, I'm gonna turn this off so we can stop looking creepy. Good idea. Alrighty then.
Okay, so con review. Con review, post con. You already saw our um, our con haul, so we're going to tell you a little bit about UchiCon, or the free convention out of the University of Chicago. Yes. Um, so there's one thing we forgot to mention that basically everyone around here just knows it as the. Sorry, I'm not throwing. Oh no, at you. it's okay. <laughs> I'm just. We made notes. We made notes. So just, uh, yeah, when we were eating, this is not. This is the bad notes. So yes, know. these are. Yeah. The notes that we yeah. are going to be we, going off. Yeah, we. So oh, you got it. Okay, yeah, we wrote right it on here. our map. Okay. Um, so we're gonna be going over the pros and the cons of the con. Uh, the con. <laughs> yep. So just and maybe just like things that aren't necessarily like fantastic or not necessarily terrible. Just things you would want to know if you want to go to UchiCon. All right. So let's kick it off with a positive note, um, which would be. The cosplayers. Yeah, we saw a yeah. lot of unique cosplays. Right. So with the Sally Face becoming more and more popular these days, we mm. saw a few Sail Fishers running around. Yeah. A few Larry Johnsons. Yeah, unique cosplays, and they these were dedicated, very artistic cosplays. These are um, not just people who grab it, who just bought a cosplay. These are people who went through the trouble of putting together all the pieces and making a really nice cosplay of a characters that you maybe not always see sometimes, so th that was impressive to see. Um, so yeah, I mean, you concur? What do you think? So, yeah. yeah. Alright, um, I gotta put, stop putting my eye in the shadows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, alright, you'll deal with that. Yes. Alright, this is the post-con thing that we do. So, um, so, so two. one of the cons of the, the con. con. So the entryway was pretty crowded. It was kind of hard to maneuver to find out yeah. where the check-in was, but it's understandable yeah. because with it being smaller, one of the smaller convention, it just things, doesn't have the capacity. Yeah, things will be more compact. Yeah, it's, it kind of goes hand in hand with the really unique cosplayers because you would find that one section in the entryway had so many unique cosplayers. There were so many times you want to take a photograph, but it's so packed you can't yeah that's the problem because that's more the detraction you got great cosplayers nowhere to take a good photo unless you want to go to the photo area and pay which or i'm not sure if you have to pay but yeah it we, looks like you'd have we, to pay. we didn't check into that we just yeah. kind of stopped in to. and yeah. looked at it considered getting photos but I without decided. knowing whether or not yeah we had to buy the photos or by time yeah. by a photo slot i think that's what right. i'm trying to say since since our cosplays were kind of rushed today we were like eh, we'll save it for days when we're feeling our 100 yeah. on our cosplays <laughs> and and i also came with very limited money to this con true yes fun, just because like but this is a free con so obviously yeah. we're trying to save we're not we're trying to spend crazy yes yes so especially yeah so we're not gonna spend money on cosplays we're not proud of so I mean, I'm proud of this cosplay. Well, yes, but not, not today. <laughs> today was just exhausting. Yeah. All right. Today was kind of like, I guess what we were trying to say, last minute planning. Yes. Because uh, last minute. <laughs> with, with my homework, I never know how long it's going to take me, how free I'm going to be. Watch the person walking in the back. Oh, yes, there's a person. Hello, per my person. My person, welcome to our welcome few to our seconds video. of the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll be your neighbor, just watch. Okay. Yeah, my neighbor's <laughs> one of my neighbors. Okay. But um, anyways, so, so let's yeah. get back on track with right, the so, pros and yeah. cons of the con. Crowded entryway. So obviously they have a nice map, which is nice, so they can tell you which area is. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So here's, this, here's uh, the map. I don't see. know how well you can see the layout. So this, when you walk into Ida Nice, uh, they have the entryway and they have the information desk there, and that uh, is a crowded in itself. People were thinking you register there, but actually you have to go up and behind to register, which leads us to another problem, which was the panel was behind registration, behind their, like, free merch. They had, like, swag from their um, sponsors to give out, and that blocked the panel room. Yeah. But again, it's a small convention. They have to deal with the space that they have. Yes. But it is confusing. I don't think, because the first panel we went to, I think there could have been a lot more people had people been able to find it. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, let's talk about right. more of the pros. More pros. So lots of pros. So the aesthetics. So the campus yeah. was very aesthetically pleasing. It's a gorgeous campus. It's it's gorgeous. Pretty much the best way to describe it is it's almost like a mini Hogwarts castle. It it has a very castle. So if you're and like if you're in Rosemont with those conventions, it's industrial looking and you don't if you are having a very like 
castle medieval, you know, Renaissance cosplay. The pictures aren't going to look great, but out in uh, UIC or University of Chicago, University wherever they, however Chicago, they agree, yeah. but however, they, there's lots of universities in yes. Chicago, so whatever. Don't fight me on that. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> so at this one, it's medieval, like she said, it looks like a Hogwarts castle. It's elegant, it's beautiful. You've seen the photos. I mean, there's, if you are willing to brave the cold, there are lots of places to take amazing photos if you have the time and body. <laughs> I braved the cold. <laughs> you braved the cold. Yeah. She's, she stopped dropped and cosplayed. Yes. Yep. So, should we explain what stop, stop drop, and cosplay, cosplay is? is? Yes. So, basically, what we refer to as stop drop, drop and cosplay, cosplay is when you wear a summer cosplay in, in the, the dead of winter in the cold in the freezing cold like and you still want to take those really awesome cosplay photos mm -hmm. you wear your puffy jacket outside and you drop it yep. quickly take your pictures yep. before you freeze yep and yes. then when you're done with those pictures you quickly put your jacket back on and hurry on inside yep stop what you're doing drop everything do your cosplay and quickly put it all back on before you uh, lose toes. So, so stop, if really drop, and cosplay. cosplay. If you're willing to do that, there are many beautiful spots. Well, maybe, you know, maybe Climate Change will warm the whole place up for us. Who knows? In 10 Who years. Knows? If they're still doing this. Yeah. Something to look forward to, guys. Yeah. All right. So, hopefully, no more polar vortexes. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, beautiful place, beautiful campus. Lots of um, things that you can take wonderful photos on, especially if you're having medieval, renaissance, even Hogwarts uh, cosplays. Oh yeah, we did see a lot of Harry Potter cosplayers. Like There were. There was were um, a Luna Lovegood. Um, I think there was a Draco Malfoy Yeah, there was well. a Draco. No, uh, Newt's um, Commander. Newt's Commander. Tina was uh, there. Tina. Yeah. They took group photos. So it was oh, fun yeah, to watch did. them take pictures. Yeah, I don't Hunting think we got any internet. pictures of them, though. No. I, no, we well, got, we, got, we, got we just got Newt, but we're we didn't get Tina. I didn't know they were together. What was that? I didn't know they were together. I, they were. They took photos. Anyway. Yeah, they were, like, in the same area we were when we, we were with uh, Gomez. Well, yes, I remember that, but I didn't... I, before that, I would have oh, asked them both for a photo. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> same, but I just... When, when we were taking pictures of other cosplayers, we only saw Newt. Only saw Newt. At the time we got the picture of Newt, there was no Tina. Yes. Hence the absence. Because so, we would have loved a Newt and Tina photo. Yeah, that would have been so adorable. All right. They're like rambling. one of my Harry Potter OTPs. But mm -hmm. anyways, yes, back to... All right, back to the actual convention. So... I have a laser pointer. Can't see it. <laughs> That's what I'm pointing and waving at. So yes, yes. On, on the topic of uh, cosplays and like taking pictures... So there were no official meetups, but yeah. as mentioned before, if you like get a group together, you can make you can it, make up your own photos, meetups yeah. basically. So but again, yeah, it's a small space. They have the workout that they have, so it's hard to just designate a spot, and they don't necessarily know who's going to be there. Yeah. So it's hard to regulate, because um, they would create meetups based on you know who's going to be there they don't know that yeah. they don't have the space for that so you just make your own with the beautiful scenery that we have yes so not necessarily Which detraction. works out perfectly yes but that's just something to keep in mind so they're yeah. not going to have hello white car back there <laughs> um, but yeah so that's yes. just something to keep in mind if you do go yes all right number two number so number um whatever now. whatever number we are on all right so um, um as we mentioned before it's a free convention so yep. that's like the best value you can get because Right, it's free. Um, again, beautiful photos. Free, beautiful uh, photos. Unique dealers, lots of great things that oh, you can yeah. find there. That's not. I mean, you can find like your ordinary stuff, but I feel like there was a more unusual selection. Yeah. But maybe that was just this year. But I thought it was a great, yeah, good selection of unique things. We found, like we said, found an Italian dealer. We found her dream daddy dealers. There yes. are a couple of dream daddy dealers there that are exciting. Yeah, <clears throat> and I was so happy when I found this one Dream Daddy dealer because they were selling their buttons for just one dollar each and um, I bought the whole Dream Daddy set. <laughs> I couldn't did. resist. She bought like all the daddies yeah. and Amanda. And Amanda and, and Mary. And Mary. Yep. Had she, to get the whole cast. Had to get that whole, she's got her own little like, yeah. Dream Daddy button. Dream Daddy button to, crew. To the community of Dream <laughs> yes. Daddy buttons. Yes. All right, now let's see. So let's see. We talked about uh, crowd entryways. Um, Decor, it um, do we do confusing crowd 
Yeah, yeah we, we talked about crowds. Yeah, all right. I'm covering, I'm not blinding my face because I don't like you. I'm blinding my face because I can't see the book. <laughs> the part of it. Yeah. There we go. Still. Nope, still can't see. Okay, let's Oof. just, let me just, pick just uh, grab all that right. map. Yep, all right. It's best value. Uh, yeah, we talked about the decent map because they have, uh, this map is actually really nice. It's fairly detailed. I mean, considering mm -hmm. when you talk about ones like, um, Anime Con, uh, that program as well as a ASEN, I felt those were a little, like, vague, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, they, they can be sometimes. Like, in the past at a few of the Rosemont conventions, there's been confusion on where cosplay meetups yeah. are, like... Um, one that I went to when I was hanging out with my friend Sophia, there was a Italia meetup. It was supposed to be a, like early afternoon and it ended up being moved to a different location, but same time. Then when her and I went to the new meetup location, we read the signs and it turned out that the time was changed to later in the day. And somewhere along the lines, we learned that this Hatalia meetup had been completely scrapped, and there was really no clear way that, that they published been coming that. Up. Yeah. yeah, they just didn't like. Yeah, it leaves a lot to be guessed in some of the other ones, but that one had a lot of specifics, a lot of clear, a lot of. Um, details that are absent in some of the larger convention maps. Understandably, they're larger conventions, they have other things to deal with than details, but I think the details matter, and that, I think, is very helpful. If you are a newcomer to UchiCon or to any convention, it's nice to have those details to keep you grounded and figure out where you are and th what things are. And so, when they do change things, you can figure things out. Yes. Because it's not always clear. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, but they do not post their schedule ahead of time unless there unless I missed something uh I don't know I didn't really I try and find the online yeah. schedule I just kind of wung it yeah for myself and from another cosplayer we didn't find the schedule so that's probably not online but there I is mean, it. maybe it's only maybe two it was, pages maybe it was online but yeah but it's only two pages long so yeah you can again just yeah improvise. easy to follow yeah okay um anything else that we have that we covered with the um, cons? Let's see I think we covered all the pros we covered all the pros, covered all the cons, so. So, all right. I think we have told you everything you need to know about UchiCon, the free convention in Chicago. Um, so, uh, if you were there, do you comment. Uh, if you saw yourself in our video at some point, let us know. And uh, we can tag you, link you to all your yes. social media pages. Yep. And if you have a cosplay channel as well, we would be happy to feature you. Yep. Uh, so yeah, leave us the information, uh, subscribe for us, uh, don't forget to like, uh, you know, we'll keep you updated, we're gonna have more videos for you in the future, so, yes, uh, yeah. see you later, cosplayers. See ya. <laughs>